Hi Dalmatians, it's Miss Blaney here with another read aloud for this week. We have been talking about bats because it's the awesome month of October where we celebrate Halloween and all the spooky things. And so we started earlier this week with Biggity Bat, which was our fiction story. So today I want to read our nonfiction story, which is called Bats. And we know nonfiction means that the book is going to give us real information and facts about a topic. What topic do you think we're going to learn about? Yeah, bats. So this story was written by Elizabeth Carney. Okay, there is no illustrator for this book. Okay, there's probably someone who went out for National Geographic who published this book and took real photos of bats in their habitat. That's pretty cool. Let's read it and learn more about bats. National Geographic Kids, Bats, by Elizabeth Carney. This page is the Table of Contents. The Table of Contents is usually found at the very beginning of a nonfiction text. You can see there are different sections of the book that tell about different things. We can learn about bat bodies on page 12. I'm going to start at the beginning and read through the whole book. What's a bat? I sleep by day, I fly by night. I have no feathers to aid my flight. What am I? The answer is a bat. A bat is a mammal. Mammals are animals that nurse their young, have hair, and are warm-blooded. Humans, dogs, and whales are all mammals. But bats have a special ability. They can fly. Bat food. There are about 1,200 types of bats in the world. Most of them eat insects. Insect eating bats are usually small in size. There are more than 150 types of fruit bats. These bats are usually larger and search for sweet fruits and other plants. A few bats hunt for larger prey, such as frogs, birds, or mice. Some people think all bats suck your blood. This is not true. Only three kinds of bats drink blood. This group is known as vampire bats. They mostly feed on the blood of animals like cows and deer, not humans. Night flight. Did you know that while you're fast asleep, Bats are busy filling their bellies. Bats are nocturnal, meaning they're active at night. This way of life has many advantages for a bat. Insect-eating bats often feast on bugs that come out after dark. Pollen and nectar-eating bats might feed on plants that only open at night. Nectar is a sweet liquid made by flowers. Bat bodies. Scientists call bats Choroptera, a Greek name that means hand wing. That's because bats have four fingers and a thumb, just like us. A thin layer of skin connects the fingers. This forms a wing. Bats also have a sensitive nose and big ears. Their big ears help some bats see with sound. In the pitch black night, Bats can scoop up a tiny insect with ease. No flashlight required. How do they do it? They make a sound that travels until it hits an object. Then it bounces off the object and travels back to the bat. From this echo, the bat can tell an object's size and how far away it is. This is called echolocation. Funny face. Some bats have strange looking faces. Special ears, noses, and mouths help bats tune into and make sounds while they use echolocation. Their faces may look odd to us, but for bats, their features work perfectly. Hanging out. When bats are not hunting for food, they're usually hiding in a roost. Roosts can be caves, treetops, or attics. Bats pick places that are well hidden and protect them from bad weather. When most bats rest in their roost, they hang upside down. 
Have you ever hung upside down in a jungle gym? You might start to feel dizzy. Bats have special veins to keep their blood flowing properly so they never feel dizzy. Bats can't take off from the ground like birds do. They have to fall into flight. Hanging upside down is the best way to make a quick getaway. Baby bats. Baby bats, called pups, completely depend on their mothers after they're born. They're blind, hairless, and can't fly. They cling to their mother's fur. The pups nurse their mother's milk until their wings are strong enough to fly. Bat Rescue During storms in an Australian rainforest, wind can knock baby bats to the forest floor. The babies usually don't survive unless wildlife workers come to the rescue. The lucky bats are taken to a bat hospital. The babies are bundled in blankets and fed milk from a bottle. After a few months, they are strong enough to return to the wild. Nature's Helpers A world without bats wouldn't be very nice. Bats are an important part of the ecosystem. Insect-eating bats gobble up millions of bugs. Many of these insects are pests that could harm humans or destroy crops. Bats keep their numbers under control. Other bats keep forests healthy by spreading seeds and pollen. This allows trees and flowers to multiply. Bat myths busted. Some people have misunderstandings about bats. Here are a few common myths that drive experts batty. Myth number one, bats are blind. The truth is, bats have excellent eyesight. Some bats hunt using sight alone. Myth, bats are dirty. The truth is, bats are actually meat freaks. They groom themselves frequently. Mothers lick their babies to keep them clean. Myth, bats get stuck in hair. The truth is, with sharp senses and echolocation, bats are very good flyers. They can avoid obstacles the width of a thread. Myth, vampire bats turn into human vampires. The truth is, there is no such thing as a human vampire, and bats certainly don't turn into them. And finally, the Bat Hall of Fame. Pause this video and take a look at the different types of bat. We have the bat with the mega wings, the teeny tiny bat, the happy camper, the most crowded home, and the biggest appetite. This page is the glossary. You can pause this video to learn more about important words from the text. So, did you learn anything new about bats when we read our nonfiction story? Could you tell someone what you learned about the bats? Very good. I cannot wait to see you here next time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.